must fight demons. Must conquer fears. Okay, runs away, runs away. You little, mm, they dodge shot. <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz and welcome back to Satisfactory, where last time we made our new truck stations, reworked our oil refineries, and finally moved our space elevator to somewhere, you know, just not on the ground, somewhere random. <laughs> and this was all in an effort to keep moving towards our new goal of building supercomputers. But now that we have collected all the resources, we need to figure out how to put them all together. And by that I mean, we need to find a bunch of alternate recipes throughout the world, unlock them, and figure out the best production chain to make computers. And hopefully we can do that today. And if you're excited for that, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. But first off here, we need to get back down. How do I get back down? That? There. Good, good, good. We are going to need some adventuring equipment. I think you guys know what it is. <laughs> you guys have been asking for me to get it forever. Of course. That's the gas mask. We're getting the gas mask today. <laughs> and a launch. There we go. Because many of the uh, crash drop pods are in gas. Gas masks and filter parts will ensure increased odds of survival in gas-based hazardous environments. Fixit Incorporated would like to extend the friendly advice to not forget to change filters regularly. So there we go. Gas masks unlocked. <laughs> and on the jetpack thing, I'm waiting to I have uh, computers automated before I unlock that. Because I have uh, many plans with the jetpack. For now though, gas mask. How do? Rubber, plastic, and fabric? No! <laughs> I've tried to avoid making fabric forever. How do you make fabric? What? We need it for this too? How do you actually make fabric? Long, long ago, I unlocked fabric and you guys were telling me I could make like parachutes and stuff. I'm like, what are you talking about? But leaves and mycelia. We have mycelia. We have a bunch of it, right? Yeah, 42. And I'm sure we have a couple leaves. 500, yeah, that'll do. All right, and finally we're gonna make a little bit of fabric. We're gonna see what's going on with this nonsense. Should we use up all the mycelia? Why not? Right? So there we go. There's that. We needed rubber and plastic. I'm sure we have some of that here. A little bit, is that enough? I think so. Clearly not. 50 rubber. Yeah, we got that. So uh, let's craft ourselves a gas mask. Coolio. There we go. And filters. No coal. Oh, that makes sense as a filter. Alrighty, so we need a bit of coal then too. Let's scoot. And we good. Let's make a couple of these bad boys actually. Five. Five should be enough, right? Right. And now that we have fabric, I am like 99% sure there's a parachute. You guys are telling me about it in the comments below. How do we get that, though? Where is it? It'd be in like tier one, right? Hello? Hello? How do I make the parachute? It's not gonna be in here, right? No, filters are in there. Parachute should be in here then, right? I don't have it unlocked. How do I not have the parachute unlocked? Wait! Because I need to have it researched. I need to research the fabric. Ha 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 ha! There we go. Alright. And that'll take like eight minutes. Cool beans! So we'll get parachutes soon. I'll probably make a couple of those and then prep for our adventure. So cool, cool, cool. I got a big ol' adventure kit ready to go here. And... The research for the fabric is done! Incoming message. This fabric is suitable for the creation of parachutes. The derived blueprint is now accessible in Hub Tier 2. There we go! Parachutes! Cool. Hub Tier 2. Parachute. 
milestone. Let's get it. And bada boom. Easy stuff. Parachutes unlocked. New equipment. So I guess we build that over here then? Yes. Oh, it uses fabric and cables? So how does this work then? Looks really goofy. Oh, we make five at a time. Ah, but that's what I thought. We have to have it equipped. And I guess that uses up the parachute when we jump off something. All right, well, <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so slow without the Blade Runners. It's been so long. I missed them already. But let's see what's up with the parachutes then. We'll go way, way, way to the top of our tower, jump off, and hopefully figure out how they work at that point. So I'm just going to guess we press space in the air. It seems to make sense to me, right? So let's go ahead and do that. Yep, okay. Very simple stuff. Nifty. Oh, and it even shows up above us. I like it. I like it a lot. And now can we cut the cord if we press space again? No, we just float down. <laughs> Alrighty. That's fine. That's pretty handy. Good to have a couple of those on me when we are adventuring. Anyway, though, Blade Runners, please. For the rest of our stuff here, got plenty to work with. Lots of pretty much everything to unlock all the drop pods we need. The gas mask, we have these for a little bit of health. And you know what? I think we're ready to go. So, big rig, constructed, gas, in the tank. And that's Scoot. Alrighty, and I've been driving around for quite a bit. I'm working towards the other oil nodes we found earlier, because I remember there's a drop pod there. But then, uh, I was climbing a couple mountains, and I found... Yeah, I found one right over this way. So there's only a piece of it here. And I was like, well, what the heck? Isn't there supposed to be, like, the pod or whatever? But check it out. The rest of it crashed on a mushroom up there, so I'm like, well... What the heck, man? Oh, gosh, and that leg spike. Also, I figured out what's causing that. So every once in a while, you can see my game kind of stutters. It's because of the moth back at base. Whenever it flies through my base, I suppose, like, its textures load in or something. And no matter where I am in the game, it causes me to stutter like that. I thought it was just because my factory was so big, but nope. That's the cause. Anyway, I wonder what caused this to crash. This is a big oof. Very big oof. Okie dokie though. What does it need? 20 megawatts of power? I am pretty much prepared for everything. So we can build ourselves a little, uh, what's me call it? Biomass burner. Can't believe that fit. And then we uh, power it up. Good. And we hook it up. Excellent. And we get our first. Hard drive. Good. And now off to find, like, <laughs> 20 more. Ah, uh, yes. This is the area I was trying to get to. Oh, man, oh, man. So many enemies left around in here. It's gonna be pretty spooky. Pretty spooky. However, we do have a gun now, so... <laughs> That makes things a lot better. We have an extra full health thing too, which is also nice. But mainly, we have the gas mask. Because I remember, it was just somewhere in here, there's a bit of gas, and there was the, what's it called? Crash ship. Is there a giant spider just running around over there? There absolutely is. We'll get to that in a bit, though. And we'll try and take it down with a couple uh, shots with the rebar gun. Alrighty, though. I remember the crash ship was somewhere in here. It was surrounded by a bunch of gas. Mr. Bean, can you please remind me where that thing was, buddy? Yeah, it was right here. There it is. It's okay, perfect. Okie dokie. So. We don't want to just run in there, because, yep, 
Spooky, spooky spiders all over the place. And they can be kind of dangerous. Hey, buddy. Whoever designed these is an absolute fiend. <gasps> they can't climb on my truck! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I thought I would be safe. Okay. It's very fast. Um... We got a shot in, I think. Please. Must fight demons. Must conquer fears. I think we hit it again. Oh, this thing is the worst. You're so fast. And this gun is so bad. Oh, there we go. Definitely hit it there. Okay. Runs away, runs away. You little... Mm, they dodge shots, man. Oh, my God! I probably just destroyed my mic. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's right underneath my truck. I had no idea this was a thing. I think it's stuck. Right underneath my truck. Oh, okay. How do we deal with this? We go on the ground and shoot it? Yep. Okay, thank God it's stuck. Your stupid little leap. Was not worth it, was it, buddy? We got it. We killed it. Oh my gosh. I've never killed one of these guys before. Oh my god, they are just disgusting. What an absolutely vile, horrific creature. Oh, but we got it. We did it. We did it. We killed one. I'm so happy. We have conquered fears. And learn that they can leap, and that is even more terrifying, honestly. I wish I never knew that. Okay. Gas mask time. How does this work? Do I have to reload it or something? I don't know. Let's just run in here. We should be safe now. Okay. I see. It's using, like, durability. Oh, it goes through them fast. Okay. I didn't think it'd be that fast. What do we need? That stuff? We got it. Come on. Give it to me. And that's a number two, brother. Definitely should make a lot more gas masks, though. Future reference. Oh, well, well, well. Looks like we got another one here. Are there any enemies around? I don't know. These are really nice trees, though. I like them. I wish you could, like, take trees and make gardens and stuff. That'd be nice and dandy. But I suppose that's for another day. Now, where are the enemies? Usually these things are surrounded by enemies, but uh, this one, hey, it's the enemy. That's a big Mr. Pig. That's a big Mr. Pig. That's a big oof. That's a big oof. Let's jump on top of the safe place. All right, the safe place doesn't want to be jumped on top of. Then we keep on shooting. Okay, that was close. I almost died. But no, he's gone. We got him. Thank you for your carapace or whatever and what do we need two needs two crystal oscillators what is that the power crystal stuff now out of all the things in the world I never would presume that these these would need power crystals man and 20 megawatts I only thought it would be one thing ever okay that's not the end of the world let's um let's put down a marker You know, it's funny. I never realized until a little bit ago that you could actually use these as beacons. I always just thought of them as a truck ingredient, but nope. You can just throw them down. This will be called drop pod one. In case there are other drop pods which we don't have the stuff for, which I doubt, but yeah, I guess you never know. Anyway, super quick, maybe just super, super quick. What if this is like, there we go. A one or the other type thing, like power or just the other thing. Two crystal oscillators still. Okay. So yeah, clearly it needs both. Things just get more strange and more strange. What? Is that a tree? What's up with this? It's guarded too. 
Why would it be guarded? Well, is there an easier way through there? Yeah, I just run over there. Oh my gosh, I feel like quite the explorer. Must admit. Ooh, this is spooky. Ooh, this is spooky. All right, well, we made it over. Closing in on the weird tree. More enemies? No. Looks like we're clear. What could possibly be at this? Like, that's a whole custom, like, designed asset. Just for this one spot. Oh, no. What are you doing up here? How much ammo do I have? A lot. Okay. Let's deal with him, I suppose. It's been a while since I've been in the old fighterino in the ball pit. Woo! These green ones have absolutely no chill. Oh! What, 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 what? He can get up here? I thought he was stuck. No, brother. Oh, he is a bit stuck, it seems. Thank goodness. Don't run across the bridge, okay? Don't run over the edge either. That's not cool either. Like, come on. I know I have the gun and I'm gonna win this, but you don't have to give up like that. Oh, no, he gave up like that. Well, it took me a second to clear out all of the enemies guarding this thing, but finally, we're gonna see what's up. So, uh, let's trash a few things here. Don't really need that. Definitely will need the parachute. Let's see, oh, what do we got? In the demon tree? Ba -ba -ba -ba. A summer sleep. I wonder why these things are guarded so much, man. Like, it's never explained in the game. But, they're all over the place, and they're always so hard to get. Anyway, we got it. Harvest. I am harvesting. You don't need to tell me again. Nifty. Very cool, demon tree. Very, very cool. It's actually pretty close to my base, too. It's, like, right over there. Which is pretty neat. Anyway, though, um... <laughs> I'm pretty lost at this point, so we are just gonna go that way. So, uh, parachute into the void? I think that's the plan. Bada boom. Just double press the space bar. Just gotta remember that and we'll be fine. Just a super quick look around though. Is there anything else of note? Don't think I'll be coming back here anytime soon. Nothing much really. Okay, maybe like way over there there's something? But I can't really tell. Anyway, I guess then we're jumping! So, jump here, parachute over, and we're essentially home. Everything works out in the end. Unless parachutes can be faulty. <gasps> buddy! Oh, buddy! Parachute! Parachute! Dude. In what space-time continuum does the parachute not work? I won- Did I not equip it? I did. That's why I was running slow, and I pressed the space bar. Did I use it accidentally? I have no idea. So many questions. So many questions. Ay ay ay. Luckily, though, we kind of just jumped off a cliff that was right down that way, so I'll make a tractor, I suppose, and go get our stuff. Alright, so I died just right over here. Luckily, it's, again, it's not too far away. Couple things guarding my body. That's okay, we run in, we grab all, and we scoot. Alright, so we're all good there. Also, while I was over here, I spotted something. I think it's a pink power slug. Just up there. So we're gonna try and get that super quick. Oh, I see. It's a purple power slug. All right, that's still really good too. Thank you, buddy. Let's scoot. And after long last, we're finally back to base. What? Ugh, what a journey, man. Oh my gosh, that spider thing is gonna give me nightmares forever. And I don't know what's up with the parachute either. I looked at the footage and it just disappeared, man. It's really weird. 
Anyway, if you guys know what's up, let me know in the comments, but we have uh, some things to unlock. So after the adventure, kind of went back and went through a few drop pods that I missed like way earlier in the series and got them. So we have four hard drives, which is fan-freaking-tastic, man. And while I was on the adventure, I found a, other, a few other little things. I found another Sam Orr node. It's like off in the cliffs over there. Not really important right now, but also silica. So I was dropping down this weird mushroom looking thing, trying to get more mycelia, but I got silica. And apparently it's used in aluminum and it doesn't even have a little icon box yet. So I guess that's for the next update. It's neat though, pretty neat indeed. With all that though, it is time to start researching these hard drives. Main thing we want, I don't know actually. I really don't know. I guess we'll find out. Let's start researching one. Also, I need to find out something else too. Earlier on, I collected a ton of these uh, hard drives and researched them, though I didn't unlock this one. A Keterium computer. So I just need a little bit more plastic. And then hopefully this recipe is pretty decent because that's kind of important to know what this one is. Like if it can make the, our life easier, we want it sooner rather than later. So let's a launch. Okay. New parts, okay stop, stop, I know. And what is that recipe then? Quick wire computer. Oh my god, that is like a thousand. That is the bet. Wow, okay. That is incredible. That is absolutely incredible. 10 circuit boards, quick wire, and rubber. Um, okay, so that is an. What? That's an entire. One part less. One entire part less. Oh my goodness. And then we don't use any iron in the computer recipe at all. We don't need to worry about screws. Cables. Whoa, buddy. All right. Well, that is like fundamentally different. That's like blown my mind. I. That changes a lot. That changes a lot. We're definitely going to be using this alternate recipe as well. If you, if you hadn't figured that out yet. Because that is like night and day better. Uses twice as many circuit boards though. But yeah. One, it uses one less input. That Yeah, that is, that is absolutely super wild. Oh my goodness. I can't wait to see what we get in the other hard drives here. So what do we got? Are you joking? An alternate blueprint for screws. It literally cuts out the entire process of making iron rods. You can't be serious. That alternate recipe essentially means I could cut out this entire floor of the screw factory. You're joking. Like, are the numbers equatable? Like, would I be using more iron? How much iron does it take? Yeah, it's a one-to-one -one for this. Oh, okay, I see. It's not the end of the world. So essentially, it takes one iron ingot to make one iron rod, and one iron rod to make the 90 screws a minute. So then with this alternate recipe, it completely cuts out an entire link in the production chain, but you'll use twice as much, uh, twice as much iron. So definitely not worth it there in my opinion. This one's a little strange too. Combining copper and iron to make 45 iron per minute. Now thinking about that for a moment, I think that means that if you combine these two in a foundry, effectively you convert half this copper into iron. So you get 1.5 iron for combining the two here. Now from my playthrough so far, Copper is being, it's like, whatever. It's all over the place. You don't need much of it, though. 
So, that seems like it would be worth, especially if you're combining like a bunch of like the impure nodes that don't provide a, uh, provide a lot. So that's kind of interesting. And then this rubber cable one is pretty much irrelevant. I'm not combining two things to make the cable. Like it might be more efficient, but I'm not gonna set up an assembler just for this when I could use a constructor. Like that's way too complicated. So yeah, you know what? I think I'm gonna go with this alternate blueprint for the iron ingots. It has a quite a few practical uses that I kind of want. Yeah, although this screw one is tempting for quality of life stuff and making things easy, but twice as much iron for something as common as screws, that'll run my iron supply dry. So it, I can't even consider it really. So yeah, we're going with that one. Boom. Oh, that was a really tough choice on the first one. Let's see what we get with the second one. The screw one again. Again, don't really want that. Iron wire? is intriguing, but iron is used for so much. I'd rather not. This rotor one though. Six iron or steel pipes and then 20 wire. Oh, that completely flips the script on the rotors. Interesting. I don't really like that. I like the, I like this one. So now I'm at a point where it's like I have to pick the worst bad option and it's like, oh, well, you know what would probably be best? If we ever have to make like a factory that's super far away, this could be really handy. Because if we don't have copper around and we just have iron, we can go through the entire copper tech tree because the wire is essentially used for every part of it. So that could be extremely helpful. Like in that kind of scenario. And the screw one, again close second, but twice the amount of iron to make the same amount of screws? No. That's, yeah, it's... It's too rough. It's too rough, man. All right, and another one. Oh my gosh, guys. Before, I thought with the alternate computer recipe, we had won the lottery, but this one. Circuit board using rubber instead of plastic? Dude, easily done. Easily done. Do you know what that means, though? Do you understand the power of that hard drive? The computer uses rubber. The circuit board uses rubber. We have eliminated plastic from the entire production chain on computers. That's like with um the heavy modular frames. We completely eliminated steel beams. It's one whole less item. One whole less thing. We don't need to worry about with this. It, it just cuts it right out. Dude. 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 That, oh my gosh. That changes everything. Oh, I My mind is like on on the precipice of exploding. Already with the computer thing, I was freaking out. Now it's like Dude. Dude, I I can't even. I'm going to have to Oh my gosh, I'm going to have to run through so many numbers. I just had a temporary setup here for testing, but Oh my goodness. Oh my gracious, where's my alternate recipe? Hello? Where is it? What? What? What happened? I clicked it. Did I misclick? I swear to God. Hello? What happened? What happened? No. No, 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 Oh my god, my heart. If I had misclicked away from that, I was gonna have a mental breakdown. We just have to unlock it. <laughs> my heart almost stopped. I could have died. Oh, there we go though. Alternate milestone unlocked. Or <laughs> That's where my head's at, guys. I'm just gone. Alternate recipe unlocked. And then uh, these two... You don't particularly need to worry about right now, and that's it. Okay. We have the two recipes we need. The alternate circuit board and the alternate computer. With those two things... Oh. Get ready for a leg spike. But yeah. With those two things, we're set. It's always right there. That leg spike, by the way. Oh, our life is going to be so easy. 
So simple. So from 60 per minute with the wire and 30 plastic, it's now 60 per minute, same dealio, and 40 rubber for 7.5. Whereas the other one was uh, five circuit boards per minute. My, oh my gosh, like, that's wild. That is actually so wild how much better these two recipes are. We actually have won the lottery today. Like, no joke. Like, if you're playing this game yourself, oh, these hard drives, just get all the hard drives first. However, we do have one more hard drive. And you know what? I think I'm going to save it for the time being. Like, when tiers uh, 7, 8, and 9, or whatever, come out, we definitely really want more hard drives for them. So I'm going to save this one for now, and I don't know how these recipes could get better. Perhaps we could get an alternate recipe for... What are they? Uh, the AI limiter in supercomputer and stuff, but I don't know. For now, I'm pretty happy. We'll save that for later. And you know what? Now I have to plan an entire new production line. Because all the oil refineries making plastic over there gotta be switched. We gotta get that Caterium online ASAP. And then we bring it to the top of our factory in GG. So yeah, I think I'm gonna call it here for today. Next time, obviously, we are going to be automating computers. You better believe it, brother. And I'm really looking forward to that. It's gonna be a ton of fun. But anyway, again, that's gonna be all here. So hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, again, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And I hope you're excited for next time because it's gonna be wild. But anyway, have a fantastic rest of your day. And bye bye